Welcome to this episode of Fun with Drilling Engineering. If you look closely at a drilling rig physically, you will be very amazed. Like, wow, is it this big? The question is, why is it actually so big? A typical borehole has a diameter of 30 centimeters, which is the length of a ruler. So why do you need such a huge drilling machine for such a small borehole? Okay, the borehole sometimes may not be large in diameter, but it can reach many kilometers under different circumstances maybe six ten or even more kilometers and that's why the drill string is also very long and heavy can weigh up to several hundred tons in order to move this load safely up and down you need a pulley system such as this which consists of a rope and several deflection rows with this system you can handle such heavy loads here we can see a pulley system hanging in the mast here. And we see the hoisting system that is responsible for pulling the rope so that the rope moves up and down. Here in our own model Derrick, we can also see small pulleys which is used to move the rope up and down just like you can see here. I'm trying to move it, yes, and that's how it works. Now this is a challenge. Because the rope must be very heavy and strong to lift heavy loads. It has relatively large diameter. An example here is this I'm holding. It is anything but flexible. It's like a steel rod. It does not easily bend and is very strong. This is why the pulleys in the derrick need to have diameters as large as possible so as to be able to prevent any damage by bending as related to the moving up and down of the rope. You can see in the picture a man and down here also some people are the knot. You can compare the size of the man to the size of this part. This tells you why the derrick is so big. But there's also another reason why the derrick is very tall. After some days of drilling, the bit gets blunt and you have to remove the whole drill string out of the borehole to exchange the drill bit. To do this round trip, which is what we call it, effectively as possible, you need to pull out in segments. Each segment consists of three drill pipes, everything about 30 meters long. So you need to remove um, every third connection will be unscrewed. And after unscrewing them, they are placed in the derrick. So each pipe segment, 30 meters long, is placed in the drilling rig. Hence, you can imagine the height of the derrick. We also have uh, other manufacturers with alternative hoisting systems. For example, you can use hydraulic cylinders in the derrick for moving the string up and down. Or you can also use a rack and pinion system to have the traveling block drive up and down the mast. You can also place the drill string elements on the well sites by the drilling rig instead of placing them vertically in the derrick. Or you can use automatic pipe handling systems to make this procedure effective. We will see in the future if these modern hosting systems will gain more market share compared to the conventional pulley hosting systems. We will consider the development in our lecture basics of drilling engineering. If you find this interesting, please come to Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Glück auf!